We got mail, which means it's time for... Ooh, show us your package. Wow! Okay, today we've got something all the way from the UK. Uh, I've been waiting for this for a little while. This is my latest order from the wonderful MagneticRacing.com. Now, I'll take a bit of extra care with opening this one. Pretty excited about this, actually. Okay, so I'll do my best to cover up the code here. This uh, first product is a double uh, spectator stand, two pack. And the other kit I ordered is a three. What is that? I did not order that. These guys have thrown that in. This is a billboard, a sticker billboard. They've thrown it in for free. Oh my God, thanks guys, thanks thanks Magnetic Racing. That is, I did, I definitely did not order that. Let's check, there's two, yep, two, a pack of two grandstands. This is the other thing I ordered. This is the, um, this is the, uh, the half gantry with the mobile, mobile um, uh, logo. So that's fantastic, but this is a mystery. This is, this is a bonus um, billboard. So I'm absolutely thrilled. Thanks, thanks again, guys, that's wonderful. So what a surprise. Also in the mail today is this package from the folks at Slot Car Corner, USA. One of the biggest out of the box disappointments was the BMW DTM car featured in our opener. It was impossible to keep on the track, the car's rear end dancing to its own discordant tune. But after seeing an awesome tyre shootout video on MP Slot Cars channel, it had to be quick slicks. And what a difference they made to that Beamer, making it the most formidable competitor in the collection so far. Now, four more lucky cars are about to get the quick slicks treatment, since Slot Car Corner had exactly what we needed. And they also threw in this awesome pen. Nice touch. Fitting some quick slicks is one of the most simple and effective mods you can do to your cars, vastly improving their grip on the track and handling responsiveness. Of course, they're not the only brand of performance tyre out there, but if chasing much faster lap times is your thing, I think you'll be most impressed with these tyres. So a huge shout out to the folks at Slot Car Corner for getting these here so quickly, from the other side of the planet. And seriously, I'm really digging the pen. Looks like it's made of Kevlar. Probably the best promotional pen I've ever received. Thank you. Now, which one of these four contenders shall we choose for this exercise? You know what? I can't wait any longer. It's got to be the Lamborghini Huracan. This one was also a disappointment, although not nearly as bad as the BMW was. So let's first run a series of laps and see what it can do with these standard Carrera tires. Go. Okay, that's a fastest lap time of 11.8 seconds. Slightly better than average really for this track, which is around the 12 second mark. So let's swap out these old tires for the new quick slicks and see what happens. They're easy to remove, just get your fingernail in there and carefully nudge them, working your way around the tire. And off it pops. Now just do the same in reverse. Work the new tire on there bit by bit, slowly making your way around the wheel. And there you go. Now, while we're at it, let's remove the chassis and do a quick service. There's four screws. 
Take your time and be careful not to lose these, placing them down in a safe space. The car body comes off easily, like so. Now clean out any dust or debris. I just use a clean, dry paintbrush for this. Then take your screwdriver and gently press down on this wire at the rear, like this. This will keep the wire from rubbing against the rear axle, which they tend to do out of the box. Now using some proper slot car lubricant, apply a single drop in there where the axle meets the bushing. Give the wheels a few turns before moving on to the next one. There's no need to do the front ones, but I usually do anyway. Be extremely careful putting it all back together. As soon as you feel the screw tighten, stop turning. Remember, these things are made of plastic and over tightening will likely ruin them. Check the braids while you're at it too. Replace if necessary. And that's it. Now, let's run some more laps. Whoa, that's more like it. What a difference. It's like a completely different car. And boy, does it fly. It's so much more responsive now. Holds the corners really well. This is great. Wow, this fiery Italian supercar just ran a fastest lap of 10.1 seconds. That's almost two seconds faster. 1.7 to be exact. That BMW DTM car had better watch out. Or... Wow, the Quick Slicks equipped BMW M4 DTM is still king of the garage with a fastest lap time of 9.3 seconds. That's a staggering sub 10 second lap time, a new track record. Guess we've got a little more work to do on that Lamborghini. Meanwhile, I think I'll upgrade the Ferrari next. Now wouldn't that be an awesome face off? Hmm. So, if you're having trouble keeping your cars on the track, put some new tyres at the top of your wish list. You won't regret it. Hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time on Hughes Garage Slot Car Adventures. <laughs>